Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about software testing metrics. There are various testing metrics available. If you use these metrics or we can call it as a key performance indicators for any given testing project. If we wanted to see whether testing project is really doing good or not, whether our testers are really doing good or not, whether our developers are really doing good or not. If you go through this metrics, definitely the management team can easily identify whether the testing project is going in a right direction or not. So I will be discussing about 16 uh, testing metrics in this video. I will be giving complete uh, explanation for all these 16 testing metrics. The first metrics is test execution coverage. In test execution coverage, the main thing we do here is what is the number of test cases which we have executed? What is the overall test cases which we executed divided by how many test cases which we plan to execute? That would give what is the percentage of uh, test cases execution we have done already. Let's say we have planned for overall 100 test cases to be executed in that only 80 test cases we have executed. That means 80% of the execution we have already done. That is the 80% test execution coverage. The second one is recommend coverage. The recommend coverage here is nothing but how many number of recommends we have completed our testing. So if you are referring this uh, recommends, the number of recommends we have covered divided by the total number of recommend. With this matrix is percentage defect by priority percentage defect by priority let's say i wanted to understand what is the percentage of priority one defects we have what is the percentage of priority two defects we have what is the percentage of priority three defects we have then in order to understand that you can use this matrix to derive what is the percentage of defects we have in that priority yeah number of priority defects identify here let's say i have 10 priority one defects then we have total 100 defects we identify means there is a 10 percentage of priority one defects we have out of 100 10 defects are belongs to priority one that means overall 10 percent is priority one the similarly if i have priority two defects maybe have say 40 defects we have out of 100 defects then I can say 40% of the defects are priority to defects. So that is we can find out using this matrix. Then the fourth matrix here is defect rate percentage. Here total number of test cases failed divided by number of test cases executed. That is the defect rate percentage. Here what happens if I execute 100 test cases in that maybe I will say 10 test cases are fail that means 10 percentage is the defect rate the fifth matrix here is defect leakage what is defect leakage defect leakage is nothing but any number of defects which we found during user acceptance testing if i say if i found out 10 defects as part of the user acceptance testing then uh, let's say if i have found 100 defects before uit now before UIT 100 defects, after UIT we have total 10 defects. Now 10 divided by 100 that means 10% of the defects which got leaked. That means the 10% of the defect which we got post of our testing from the testing team or development team but those defects which we leaked to the UIT team. Sixth uh, testing matrix is defect removal efficiency what is all about defect removal efficiency especially this matrix will be used to check the ability of the development team whether how much defects they are really removed or not to in order to validate that they normally use they normally use this defect removal efficiency which is dre the formula for this is number of defects resolved by the development team by total number of defects which are available in the system. Let's say in the system I have 100 defects and they are able to fix 90 defects. That means 90% is the defect removal efficiency and only 
10% of the defects which they are not fixed but remaining 90% of the defects they are able to remove it from the application or in the system. Then the seventh uh, matrix here is test case effectiveness. In order to whether your test case can really find the issue or not that is a formula we will use that is number of defects we identified till now total number of defects we identified till now divided by number of test cases which we ran. Let us say I have 10 defects we identify I have executed 100 test cases that means test cases effectiveness here is 90 percent. The eighth matrix here is test case creation productivity especially if you want to check the what is the productivity level of a given tester who creates the test case we can use this matrix. So we have the similar matrix for uh, test case execution in the tenth matrix which is very simple one is pass percentage test case pass percentage how many number of test cases got passed divided by how many number of test cases executed that would give the percentage of pass rate and fail rate as well how many number of test cases got failed divided by how many number of test cases we have executed let us say 10 test cases got failed but I executed 100 test cases that means fail rate here is 10 percent this is the percentage of block test cases we can use the same formula where number of test cases block divided by number of total test cases executed that would give the matrix for test case block the 13th matrix which is defect fix which is defect fix the defect fix matrix is total number of defects which developer fix divided by total number of defects reported in the defect management tool that would give the percentage of defect picks. Then the 14th matrix is what is the valid defect percentage especially testers can raise hundreds of defects if all the defects got rejected how will you identify you can use this formula to check let us say if I log 100 defects in that 90 percent of the defect if developers accepted 10 percent of the defects got rejected that means 90 percent of the defects are valid defects. In order to measure that requirement we can use this formula number of defects accepted as a valid divided by total number of defects logged by the tester. If you use this formula or if you use this matrix you can easily find out what is the valid or accepted defects which are logged by the testing team. The 15th matrix is rejected defect. The rejected defect we can also use the similar formula where number of defects rejected divided by total number of defects logged by the testing team. That would give what is the percentage of defects which got really rejected because of maybe not reproducible or maybe lack of information or lack of data or whatever reason right. So because of that the defects get rejected. The last matrix is defect deferred. How many number of defects which got deferred to the future releases or future implementation. If we wanted to check what is the percentage again we can use the similar formula number of defects which got deferred divided by number of defects got logged. So that would give what is the percentage of defects which got deferred to the next releases. I hope you guys got a clear idea now these are the 16 metrics 16 testing metrics you can use in your testing project that would help you to identify what is the health of the project by going through all these testing metrics. If you guys really like this video then do click on like button and if you guys are not subscribed to this channel then do subscribe and click on bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.